Hello, all you Capricorns out there. Thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for November 1st to November 8th. So, um, the usual. Please like and subscribe. Also, when you come across this, is probably when you're supposed to come across it. Because time is fluid. And you feel free to vice versa the feminine and masculine energies, Capricorn. Also, I'm going to do a love reading, one side you, one side your partner, past, present, future. If you're not in a relationship, just kind of use all the cards for yourself. And hopefully you'll notice somebody else in the reading, maybe a friend or coworker, or something. Family member, sister, brother will come in to the reading as well. Um, so feel free to vice versa those if you are in a relationship. Also, there's no possible way this reading can connect with every Capricorn out there. So don't force it to connect. If there's pieces that connect, take what connects. Do not take what does not connect. Don't force anything in your life or put a thought in your head that will make something that's not going on in your life. So just take what you can use and leave what you cannot. Please, Capricorn. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... I'm going to use the Mystical Cats Tarot cards, and I've shuffled them for a long time in between um, the, uh, before I turn the camera on, I shuffle them for a long time. So I'm cutting the deck now, so I will use those, and then I will use the Oracle V cards for a little extra clarification, and then the Angel and Ancestor Oracle cards. Um... And past, present, future. And if I need to pull clarification, I'll use the mystical cats. So they say the bottom of the deck is an overall reading Capricorn of the cards. And if so, this is consequences. So we will see. You don't really know till the end of the reading if it resonates or not. I'll put these over here because I'll probably use them again. So the first card we have Capricorn for you is Ten of Earth. Ten of Earth is... Somebody, um, what's it called? They're being generous. They're sharing their things with other people. Uh, yeah, sharing their stuff. Totally happy. All right. Um, I got a piece of paper here I was looking at. Okay, so the card we have for your partner, Capricorn. Wow, very nice is the Empress. So this is a very nurturing, loving, kind female, again, vice versa, the energies, if you feel it's a masculine person in your life. Um, very nurturing person, very loving, good with children, good, good with the domestic stuff in life, um, loves beautiful things, makes the house beautiful, very nice. So next card we have Capricorn is for a fire. This is my marriage card, Capricorn. So I don't know if you are in a marriage or some of you are getting married or someone around you is getting married, but that is the marriage card for me. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I had a tickle in my throat. So the next card we have is Good Kitty. Good Kitty is, to me, the divine guiding you to where you are, looking out for you. These are some pretty heavy cards. Beautiful. You see the... Bright light in both the cards. Very nice. So the next card we have for you is Six of Earth. This is also a generous card. Capricorn. This is you giving your stuff to others. To other people and making them happy. Oh, And then we have a Major Arcana card. That one was. This one is. A, and all your cards have been so far. This is the Stars. This means that you're wishing and dreaming and something you've been wishing and dreaming for is coming towards you, Capricorn. It's coming your way. You're going to get a wish fulfilled, I feel. Very nice. So let me see. The past of this relationship is strength. Strength is a good card. Um, that's a good, good way to be for the past of a relationship. And then present of this relationship 
is six of C. This to me is tear. Somebody cried. Somebody is very sad. Capricorn, is it you or is it somebody, both of you? I'm not sure, but the present situation of your relationship, Capricorn, is tear. Somebody's crying. The future of your relationship, Capricorn, is nine of earth. Nine of earth is somebody getting ready to move forward and they're going to jump through and they're going to leave the past behind them is what I feel. They're looking at what they want and it's a bigger picture than what they're doing right now and so yes they're getting ready to do something. So this is the priestess. This is also a major arcana card. This is somebody who is wise, they're honest, um, they're healing. The purple amethyst is a healing stone and a clarity stone, so yeah, she is honest, she is forthcoming, she is wise, and she's healing. This is Fire Kitten. This is the beginning of you thinking about something. Somebody is starting to think about something. Beginning thoughts. And this is another major arcana. Capricorn, this is the wheel. This means that a cycle is changing. It is time. And if you had this card last time, it's talking about the same cycle. Maybe it hasn't come through for all of you yet. But you don't have a cycle every week if I haven't mentioned that before. That this would be the same one. And it may take a while for the cycle to change. And it just tells you to be ready and it's going to change. Capricorn, this is my heaven card. This is somebody thinking about somebody who's in heaven, and wow, that doesn't usually happen. If they, if you've been feeling like you're thinking about somebody in heaven, this is acknowledgement that they also have been thinking of you, and they're aware that you're thinking of them. And that is just awesome. This is my five of earth. This is you feeling left out, out in the cold, not accepted. Not good. Maybe we should have stopped there. Those are pretty good cards. This is Ten of Fire. This is you um, stopping something. Something is getting out of hand. Your thoughts. Your thoughts are getting out of hand and you need to stop. The thoughts are just too much. You're making it worse. This is A to C. Capricorn, this is somebody selfish. Somebody who thinks of themselves only. This is Nine of Fire. This is my addiction card, my ancestral knowledge card. So this is to do with addiction. So I don't know if somebody's thinking about their addiction a lot and they're just going overboard on their thoughts about it. And the Ace of Fire would mean you need to stop. If you're overthinking something about, how do I put it? Grievances you've done in the past over an addiction, Capricorn, it's time to stop. Okay, that's what the cards say. Don't keep doing that. Okay, you're okay. Move on. This is Sky King. This is somebody cold around you, Capricorn, who observes, but they don't say much. They always have a poker face, so they're very difficult to read. And you always, I feel like you're always wondering, is this person for me or against me? Because you can't tell. They're confusing. They just sit and watch you and hardly say anything. This is the priest. I think we had the priestess. So this is knowledge, um, ancestral patterns, if that makes sense to some of you. Just being aware. Um, yes. Sometimes I think I tell you guys too that this card makes me feel like things can do a 180 degree turn. Like some one day things are one way and the next day they're totally different and everyone's like, how did that happen? What, what in the universe makes stuff like that happen? So that's kind of what I get from that card. This card is three of Earth Capricorn. This is co-workers, teamwork, co-workers. Seven of Earth. This is you waiting for something, Capricorn. You're waiting. You're just waiting, waiting, waiting. 
This is Eight of Fire. This would be your partner getting excited about something. You put a thought, there's a thought, and somebody said, and they're excited. And if you're not with a partner, this all could be your card just for you. Just apply it as it fits. The Fire King is ego. This is somebody proud, somebody who puts themselves to a higher standard than other people, which is fine. Three of C is friends. Hanging out with your friends, feeling strong, feeling relaxed, feeling happy. Oh, this is Grace Capricorn. This is um, temperance. This is also waiting. So you've had two waiting cards. You see, and this is an emotional side, and this is a beautiful side. So I feel like you're kind of in the middle of something, and your emotions or a little, I can't remember when this one goes, your emotions are a little um, off balance, but on the card, the kitty is totally balanced, is all I can say. You totally have to feel that your ego and your balance is going to get you through whatever is going through. You're doing a good job. This is Four of Sky. This is somebody healing. Um, maybe they were sick, maybe they had surgery, or maybe they're just having... A hard time with a breakup maybe or something this is somebody retreating from people and sleeping a lot and making themselves strong Capricorn this is your card this is a Capricorn so you see the kitty the demon cat this is the Capricorn card it's shocking it's such a scary looking card but that's your guys's card and see the triangle in the back of the cat the reddish triangle that is the male energy as a male symbol so that is the demon cat so I'm gonna say that that is either you or you're dealing with another Capricorn or if it's or it could be a warning and this is ace of sky this is somebody stopping something as well something that somebody's putting an end to something they're like I've had enough I can't do it anymore so maybe you're gonna be mean when you stop something I hope not, Capricorn. This is Three of Sky. This is a third party, Capricorn. So this is my cheater card, or possibly another meaning is you have friends around you that are a lower vibration. And they don't, they're not like you. They don't do the things you do. They don't have as high standards as you. And you know you need to not have people like that in your life, I feel. So that's what that says coming out. This is Eight of Sky. This, a lot of swords coming out. So you're blocking a lot of stuff. You feel stuck about something and you're blocking somebody is what that says. You are, and I think you're making it worse than what it actually is, but yeah, you're putting your guard up. You've had enough. So this is for of Earth. This is the second time the selfish card has come up. Look at that kitty with everything behind him and nobody's around him. He takes and takes and doesn't give at all. And this would be Seven of Sky. This is somebody doing something behind your back when you're not looking, Capricorn. So the cheater card, the selfish card, and somebody doing something behind your back. That says a lot. This is Nine of Sky. This is stress, not being able to sleep, very worried. And this cannot apply to every Capricorn. If your relationship is fine, do not force this to fit in your relationship. If you had a funny feeling in your stomach or it thought in your head before you saw this reading and this reading is making that feeling come up in you again then I would say yes there might be a possibility that could be an issue for you but if you don't have any feelings in your stomach or your head thoughts then it doesn't apply to you so please don't make it fit okay next card we have is sky top this is somebody hurting you on purpose they know they're hurting your feelings and being mean and they don't even care that is just terrible. Oh, And this is for C Capricorn. It looks like you get depressed. You can't even see the good things going on around you. You're so sad. Next card is Eight of Earth. This is somebody teaching somebody a skill. They've been doing the same thing, a skill, for like eight years. And they're teaching somebody, or somebody's learning. Wow, they've been doing this for eight years. Could be anything. 
this is Sky Kitten. This is somebody starting to think about something and put their guard up, the beginning of it, or it could be somebody acting immature. So this is the tower, Capricorn. This, I've told you, means something jarring is going to happen in your life. Something is going to change, and if you don't allow things to change and progress in your life, the universe does it for you. And it's more jarring when the universe does it for you. But they help you change and grow. If you don't push yourself, they'll do it for you. So, yes, so you're going to have a tower moment, Capricorn, and then you're going to have a two of sky. You're going to be thinking, thinking. You're kind of putting your guard up. It looks like there was deceit in the past, possibly, and you're putting your guard up, and you're thinking about what to do. You don't know what to do after the tower moment. Aww. So Capricorn, this is the Hermit. This is also a major arcana. This could represent a Virgo if you have a Virgo in your life. Or it represents withdrawing and making yourself strong. Do what pleases you, what makes you feel happy and secure. Withdraw, be alone, and you'll be strong. Capricorn, this is Ace of C. This is true love. This is my true love card. Wow. Ace of Cups. True love. Very nice. Oh, and this is a fire queen. This is action, beautiful action, a beautiful person who lights up a room and they walk in it. They are just a firecracker, so to speak. Very nice. So I wonder if I should stop there. I think I'm going to and pull a couple Oracle of E cards because, yeah, I've almost used up a lot of the cards for the deck. And I have to stay within a time limit for now until I get more subscribers. That's why I'm trying to get more. So tell everybody, please. <laughs> okay, so um, the Oracle of E. The first card we have for you, Capricorn, for Oracle of E. Oh! Is number 14, Knock Knock. Very nice. And then I'm going to pull the next one that I'll read. Next one for your partner is Jackpot. I love that. I love the lines going in it. They go north, south, east, west, Jackpot. 40. So you have 1440. So that's 14 and 40. Or you That's two fours. That's nice. Or you could add the numbers, which would be 5 and 4. So let's see. Uh, 14. 14 is... No, you aren't hearing things. The universe is sending signs, guidance, divine messengers, probably even neon billboards. Couldn't be a better time to answer the door and see who's coming knocking. Wow. And the next card, number 40, is jackpot. Do you see dollar signs? They're circling around you like a vertebral cyclone. Everything in your aura is pointing to material gain. Do you want to manifest a new house, more love, a better job, a new life, maybe a bigger pocketbook, maybe Gucci, bingo, might be wise to make some room. That is awesome. Everybody wants that kind of luck. <laughs> Jackpot. So that's good. I guess you Capricorns have been working hard, and hopefully saving your money, and for somebody special to come along and spoil them, it almost sounds like. Very good. Okay, so these are the Angel and Ancestor Oracle cards. I shuffled them before I turn the camera on. So the first one of those we have for you, Capricorn, is Sage. Be devoted and committed. Oh. And the next one we have for you or your partner, depending on if you vice versa the roles or if this is just for you, would be Hunter. Track down your fears and desires. So, be devoted and committed. Track down your fears and desires. That's pretty heavy. Sage and Hunter. So, let's see. First of all, the Sage. He came right open, too. Devotion is a powerful energy. Right now, angels and ancestors want to acknowledge how committed you are to your growth. Your continued dedication to this aspect of your life has been recognized, and your understanding that you are not only a body but also a soul 
is all you need to continue growing and expanding. The energy of the oneness is offering itself to you now and it's important you take some time to integrate it all so that you can be supported and guided by it. This is what the divine wants for you. Make a note of experience or te teachers making themselves known to you at this time because you are going to share those teachings one day too. Wow, very nice. Why is one within? So now we're going to look up the hunter, and he's out right here too. Instead of being hunted down by your fears or other feelings that you have buried, become the hunter. You are being given confidence and strength at this time, so use your power to make a difference. You are not here to cower away or live in the shadows. You are here to realize your fullest potential. But this can only occur when you step up and do what needs to be done. When this card arises, there could be an opportunity to face an aspect of your past or bring closure to a situation that has been haunting you. If you are a man or identify as a male, this card represents your masculinity and an opportunity to know yourself more deeply. If you are a female or identify as a female, this card represents your capacity to be strong and powerful and overcome limitations. Wow, very nice, Capricorn. I hope that resonates with a lot of you. Thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot.